Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here is a Caterpillar 938G. Um, if you buy this tractor from me or any of the others that I have for sale, we have some rollers and some excavators and some other stuff for sale. We don't have a whole lot, but uh, we got enough to say grace over anyway. Point is, is if you buy uh, this machine from me or any of the others that I have for sale, you're going to be dealing with a guy by the name of Pro Provencio. He's the guy running the camera right now. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about the mechanics of this machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and we'll run it in the third. Now, this machine has got an issue. Uh, the issue is it will not go in reverse. Now, I've had, uh, I haven't had Caterpillar out here yet, but we got a gentleman out there who's interested in this machine as it is, so we're doing this video for him. And we may even advertise it on a broader spectrum since uh, Cat's a week. Caterpillar's a week from coming to us, so in the meantime, we're going to advertise the machine and see if somebody's got it, is interested. Now, this machine's got plenty of power going and forward, all four gears, no problem. It does not want to go in reverse. We don't know if it's a linkage, we don't know if it's a solenoid. We had a company by the name of Heavy Equip come out. They said they didn't know what it was, so here we are. So, anyway, uh, that's what we're gonna do. And um, price on a new machine like this these days is uh, probably about 200,000. This machine currently has 4,634 hours on it. On a working hour meter. We don't warranty the hours. Uh, as far as his, as far as this machine goes, uh, Caterpillar is number one in the world of heavy construction mining equipment. That's not because they're cheap. Uh, serial number, pros, mostly to me, I've got the serial number. The serial number of this machine is 6WS0078. Um, so yeah, Caterpillar is number one in the world of heavy construction mining equipment. It's not because they're cheap, they build good, solid, reputable machines that uh, stand the test of time. This machine weighs 29,500 pounds. The widest point outside of the bucket, you can see that bucket sticks out a little bit more. The bucket is 8 foot 11. These tires, if you were to take the bucket out, that would be off. A, that would be an additional charge for us. Um, the widest point would be these tires at 8 foot 5. The bucket is actually 8 foot 11 inches. The tallest point is the top of that cab at uh, 11 feet. Transportation length from the rear of this counterweight to the front of the cutting edge when everything's down. It's 24 feet. Comparable machines are like the Komatsu WA320, a John Deere 624K, or a Volvo L90. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost every machine we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because it has it's a rust-free machine, essentially. I mean, you'll see where uh, where the paint's flicked off and uh, you know the rainwater's gotten to the gotten to it, but uh, it in no way, shape, or form is a rust pervasive machine. This machine came from a large, well organized contractor. Actually, uh, aggregate company is what it was. We bought uh, we bought quite a few machines from them over the years, and uh, we've been happy with all the machines we have purchased from them. And it should be said that before I purchase any machine, my mechanics, I send two mechanics to go out and inspect the machine. If they say everything's okay, then I send Pro Provence you out to inspect the machine. And if he says everything's okay and the money's right, then I personally go out and I inspect the machine before I write a check. So these machines are three and four times vetted before we even consider buying them. So, um, I will say that this uh, this particular machine, uh, they've got an awesome maintenance program that rivals some of the best I've seen. So uh, that aside, uh, as far as options go, this thing, this machine's got an electric hood raise. There's a button right here. 
that uh, raises and lowers the hood. Um, you also have access panels right here to get to your fuel and stuff, so you don't have to raise your, raise your hood all the time. It's got a battery disconnect switch. Uh, the AC on this machine actually blows pretty cool. So, uh, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that uh, it's got. It's got these outlets in the cab, but I don't know if that's a 12 volt outlet. So, don't quote me on that. I mean, it, I would be careful. I would check that out before you plug your iPhone into it or your phone. Um, as far as the engine goes, this is a uh, 3126 Caterpillar engine. It's got 158 gross horsepower, 145 net. This unit is equipped with a, uh, oh, I forgot. Did I say the battery disconnect switch? Yes, you did. Oh, okay. um, Here's your fuel gauge, I mean your fuel cap right there. It's got a 67 gallon tank. This machine will run 12 to as many as 16 hours of uh, operation depending on your application on a single tank of fuel. All of the fluid levels on this tractor are where they should be. There's no leaks on it. It's mechanically sound. Everything works except for the reverse on the transmission. So we're gonna we're gonna give you a uh, working man special on this loader, uh, and it's only good up through the time that Caterpillar comes out. Once Caterpillar comes out and tells me that the linkage is bad or I got a bad solenoid, then the price is probably gonna go up another 20, 30 grand. Just so you know, or you can fix it yourself and save you 20, save yourself 20, 30 grand. Um, the transmission, like I say, it runs through all the gears and forward. It does not engage in reverse. It does nothing in reverse. Top speed is 22 miles an hour and forward, and uh, 14 in reverse, hit reverse work. There's no cracks or welds anywhere in the work. Brakes are good too, the brakes stop it on a dime. No problem with the brakes. Uh, all loaders, or most loaders I should say, are inherently four-wheel drive. This is a four-wheel drive machine. These tires, as you can see in the back, they're probably about, I'd say about 95%. These in the front are probably about 90%. They're equal across the axles. They're 20.5. R25s, these are radials. I mean, hell, this has got $15,000 in tires. Nothing else. The hydraulics on this tractor are strong. Um, there's no leaks on it. Like I say, there's no welds or cracks. All of the pins and the bushings on this loader are relatively tight. Probably should have cleaned it up a little bit better, but that's okay. There's no deflection or any kind of problem. And these two kingpins, this articulation joint right here. We're doing this video in the shade because uh, it's 104 degrees outside. Um, I forgot the cutting edge. This is a new cutting edge right here. Almost new. It's probably about 85% in the front and 100% on the back. Again, this bucket is 8 foot, uh, 11 inches wide. It's 4 and a half foot tall. It's uh, 3 and a half foot deep. Probably about a 3 and a quarter, 3 and a half yard bucket. Uh, the static tip load on this loader is uh, 23,000 pounds, 23,186 pounds, what the specs say. So um, that's basically, the, the loader will tilt forward before the hydraulics give out because the hydraulics are so strong, so your lifting capacity is limited by your static tip load, which is 
the weight opposite of this fulcrum right here on this front axle. So uh, anyway, without further ado, Pro's gonna run it in the next clip. We got a loader out there waiting because we're gonna push him, uh, we're gonna push Pro back in uh, reverse because we can't get the loader to go in reverse for the 18th time. Um, hopefully we'll figure it out so that I can raise the price about 20, 30 grand. <laughs> Um, I guess that's about it, Pro. You got anything else? All the lights work. No, 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 they don't. That light doesn't work, and I think there's a few lights that don't work. Actually, the cab lights work on top. It's these two down here. The blinkers work. It's just them lights there. Okay. So what else, Pro? Anything else? You got it covered. Okay, we're gonna run it in the next clip. thing I forgot to mention is uh, this this loader has got a hydraulic fan you say well what's the point of that well if you can no if you notice there's hinges here so when you're cleaning out this uh, this fan you can uh, you can get to your oil cooler your radiator you can get to your coolers and clean them out really really well before you uh, anyway I forgot to mention that so that's that's a good option too that looks like a new compressor for that uh, air conditioner. Maybe that's why it's blowing cold. It's a caterpillar. All right, so this is how you lower the hood. I'm not going to bore you with the, uh, the whole thing, but that's how you lower it. This is how you raise it. I guess that's about enough of that. He's gonna push him backwards. I don't know if I'll bore you guys with that. All right, so what we're gonna do here, that's a 950, that's a heavy bastard right there. We're just gonna show that this tractor's got plenty of power. There's no nothing wrong with uh, the hydraulic strength of it. And we haven't done this yet, but I'm, I'm predicting the ass end of this loader is gonna go up because that loader's too heavy. Remember, its lifting capacity is limited by the weight opposite that fulcrum. Go ahead, bro. gonna push him forward. Go ahead and push him forward, bro. Alright, we're kind of limited the 
what we can lift up. Or, I mean, uh, we don't have any dirt piles around here, so we're just going to use this uh, this loader as an illustration of the strength of this loader to push this one. Ruben, you're neutral? Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead, bro. Showing uh, 4,639 hours. Um, here's your forward and reverse. There's no remote control on the transmission. All the gauges work. AC, I'm gonna turn that AC on. It's right there. This AC actually blows kind of cool, pretty cool. So, for what it's worth, the AC works. And uh, there's your brake. There's Pro. He's uh, making a cameo. <laughs> He's got his dirty ass welding gear on. Uh, that's pretty much it.